I'm going to share a sample result for you. So you see what it looks like and what you can expect to get back. So this here is the report. And we can see with this particular sample report, the dysbiosis score is five. So their gut is completely out of whack. There's lots of dysbiosis imbalance. Okay. And this is their uh, microbiome bacteria. So we get to look at lactobacillus, uh, clostridium, which type of clostridium, formicates, bacteroides, phylums, bifidobacteria, proteobacter. Um, then we have a entire panel of viruses. So if you do test positive for one of these viruses, we will need to treat them. This is very rare. A lot of not many, many, like this is probably the only test I think that have, that have come back with a panel of viruses. Chloe, correct mm. me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I've never yeah. seen this before. No. And that's not a full extent either. They test for about 450 different um, bacteria and um, viruses and parasites, et cetera, but there's just no point listing them off because it's a waste of paper. So that's not the whole extent of it either. Yeah. Um, more bacteria, some nasty bacteria or parasites. We've got some blastocystis, right? Um, so again, we test bacteria, viruses, parasites, um, ringworm, roundworms rather. And then we have a look at whether there's, I mean, one of the results we got back recently had white blood cells in the stool, um, mm. which generally indicates something like colitis and or Crohn's and obviously mucus as well. Mm. So what happens is when you have something like colitis or Crohn's and the immune system starts to, uh, first it initially will target the mucus layer of the gut. So it will, it will get through that. And that's a protective layer. You'll find mucus in the stool. And then eventually we'll get to the gut wall where we start to see blood in the stool. Okay. But why would they have white blood cells, Chloe, in the stool sample? It's generally just in, um, the indicative of immune activity in the gut, in the, yeah. um, in the intestines. So, yeah, um, have seen it a lot with UC, ulcerative yeah. colitis. Uh, let's keep going. More pathogenic bacteria, things like Klebsiella, Enterobacter, um, Salmonella. Not good. Mm. You don't want these guys. Um, digestion and absorption. So this is um, important as well. Secretory IgA is a, is a really important one for immune um, activation and autoimmune. And then this is a really, really cool page as well. So we get to see which natural agents that particular infection is sensitive to. So we have high sensitivity, moderate and low sensitivity. So berberine, black walnut, uber ursi. We get to see what actually works. And then even with antibiotics, we get to see what that bacteria is resistant to and which ones will actually be effective for the particular infection. So this is a sample report, 18 pages long, um, really, really detailed and really, really effective. So um, if you're watching this and you've been struggling with symptoms, this is IBS symptoms and digestive issues is probably one of the first things we'll do for you. Mm. So get in touch. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. It's so cool to see um, the things that we can find out from it, how they relate to the individual case. Um, and then, yeah, and see the improvement in symptoms after some treatment. Yeah, absolutely.